And Congress voted yesterday to soften the effects of massive automatic budget cuts. Many federal agencies will now have more of a say in those cuts. Cheryl Atkinson is on Capitol Hill. Cheryl, good morning. Good morning, Nora. It's been three weeks since sequestration took effect. Now Congress has given some federal agencies discretion in where they make those spending cuts. Just before heading out for a two-week spring break... The motion is adopted. Congress passed a $1 trillion measure averting a government shutdown and softening the brunt of $85 billion in across-the-board spending cuts that took effect March 1st. Under this bill, uh, some agencies will have an appropriation bill that give them uh, some flexibility. The flexibility is the choice on where to make the cuts. The agencies include the Defense Department. It announced it will delay sending notice of possible furloughs to 800,000 civilian workers. The State Department received $1.4 billion more than requested to increase diplomatic security worldwide as a result of the 9-11 attacks at Benghazi. And the Department of Agriculture received $55 million to keep food safety inspectors from being furloughed, which could have escalated meat prices. But other agencies were not afforded leeway. Democrats expressed concern the measures enacted Thursday failed to help health and education programs. The majority sets a dangerous precedent by refusing to fund the implementation of laws they simply don't like but cannot overturn. The Department of Interior was not offered the funding to open some national parks like Yellowstone on time or keep those White House tours. While impacts in the airline industry remain uncertain, the Transportation Security Administration has said there shouldn't be much impact on airport security lines. But today, the Federal Aviation Administration is announcing it will close air traffic control towers at some smaller airports and reduce staffing at larger ones, which could potentially cause delays. Also, the FAA is warning of delays of up to 90 minutes at some of the peak times. Some airlines are accusing the FAA of trying to use sequestration to make political points. Charlie, Nora? Cheryl Atkinson, thanks.